Hola, hola, mi gente. Today, I want to talk about my debt and how I'm going to practice for it. This is just my January um, from the budget by Paycheck Mom. And this is like the monthly layout, um, the budgets, how much cash to take out. Mm -hmm. I try to have another budget because I get paid on Thursday. Okay, but I'm here to talk about the trackers. So I've been doing my trackers. This is for all my credit cards. I have not been using my credit cards, but this is just how much I pay and if I get any fees, like annual membership fees, um, the starting balance, just so I can keep um, keep up with um, any fees, any um, interest rates that I have been charged. Okay, and then this is mainly my iLife card. This is really what I have. So if you are new to the budget by Picture Mom, so basically she wants you to create categories and have highlighters. These are the main highlighters. That I am going to be using. These are oldies but goodies. They are the midliner zebras. Now they have a lot a bigger pocket at Target. When I first got these, these were like from 2019, 2018, I think. Like for this one is my ally card. This is basically basically um like my income is in mint and my food, my eating out is going to be in dark green and then this yellow is gonna be for my groceries. I still need to fill it up because I still have till the 25th for my ally tracker. Same thing for Chase till the 25th. Yep, and these are my cash transactions. I think what I'm gonna do is going forward, I'm gonna add like a piece of notebook paper so I can have all my cards separately because uh, since it is limited, I kinda like still wanna have why like I went to Target because so like for this one, I went to razors and personal items and this is what I spent for those categories because that way I can have a better understanding of everything that I have. This is an ally like I, 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 um, My Sweet 16 is an ally account that I have. It's supposed to be like a savings account. But this is, um, so when I get paid, I think I have 1400 to get send to my, to my actual check-in account. And then this is goes to my Sweet 16 is like a slush account. If I'm short, wherever it is, either Chase, um, my cash spending or other things like that, I pull from this account. It's nothing like, it's not a long-term savings account. It's just like a buffer account, I guess, if you want to say that, and like in a bigger. So basically, every month or every pay period, I get deposited between 700 and 600. 600 is around the same, the same norm. Let me see. So this is where I'm going to focus to. I'm going to fill it out and hopefully have it on the second week of February so I can fill it out. Um, this is like all my credit cards because this is my priority. Then my car, student loans, and my mortgage. The extra payments that I'm planning on sending. My monthly debt progress and my overall progress. But this, I want to review this on the first of the month of February. So this will be my net worth tracker. So typically, the only thing that I focus on for my net worth is like my assets. It's like my home. Because if I'm going to track my mortgage, then I should also track the value of my home. I do have my credit cards, my student loans. Um, I think that's pretty much it for like bit wise. But then for my assets, I think I, I'm gonna, I don't know if I wanna add my covers, but typically I'll add like my 401k retirement account, my um, savings account, my Ella's account. And I think that's pretty much it. And lastly, this is the main page where I wanted to focus why I fill it in, everything that I spent. So I kind of already filled it in. And this was my net worth as in December. It's 550000 <laughs> December 1st, 2021. I don't know how I put 2021. Probably I tried to put 2022. So I'm going to put my housing and that's just including mainly my mortgage. Uh, I do have security, bills, transportation, 
and those are like my 50 percent you know how they say like um budget your 50 the 50 30 20 percent budget so this will have to cover 50 percent of my income and then food health care health care basically includes um gyms out of pocket medicine like right now that it's cold season uh has a lot of using eggs a lot of tylenol things like that personal spending will be like my cash spending sorry this is my cash spending like for pets gas toiletries and groceries okay so i will also have gifts and donations uh travel so gift and donations will be like since my kids are having valentine's that will be under that travel entertainment subscriptions child care but child care i don't pay for child care because my kids are all in school they're like school age children so with that it comes it talks about like having school pictures and school activities or my other kids having to do um extracurricular activities or their friends are selling at um they're selling things to raise funds that's so sweet because my kids only get like five dollars each a week and she said she bought like some popcorn for her her friend and, and i thought that was so sweet if interest rate debt savings and investments i'm also gonna add so the starting balance uh for money wise for like all my checkings account my checking account ally account um is going to be in my long-term savings was three thousand five uh, three thousand fifty six dollars and the other income i got was 950 so i'm gonna see how much i got for earned income which i get paid on thursday and my husband will too and i think that'll be the end of the cycle so how much savings i used i did have like an influx of savings that i used and then the total monthly inflow because she has different things too it's what i was noticing the info to her is the percent of money money okay hold on to her money inflow is the money spent divided by the total monthly inflow and same thing here where did my money go um debt and savings additions i'm really really excited to see this at the end of the year um my debt to pay off my credit cards it's going to take me at least three to four years <clears throat> i think i had like fifty thousand. let me pull out my previous binder so this was my be way that i was saying before um during the pandemic and before uh, uh like 2020 before i started going to nursing school um this i already paid and these are all the credit cards that i have these are my student loans my car loans i didn't fill this in this is card number one car number two i'm really not trying to pay it off this husband this is the third or fourth car that i have with husband and he's like always giving me a car so you know i'm not i'm not gonna pay off this card it's not a priority for me okay and let's see i don't think i had it to be honest though. Okay, what a shame, but I cannot seem to find a sheet. <laughs> I can't seem to find a sheet. So I will have it when I when I, when I start putting in everything. I also am going to get a refund for my taxes. And it's going to be about $10,000. That's with TurboTax, but I've been hearing a lot of things about TurboTax. So uh, I want to see. There's another one too. So this is another method that I use. So this is what I had paid for Best Buy. This is not included in my 50,000 credit card. I already paid off. This is what my, was my, my computer. It was 2,206 months, which I'm very excited because I was trying to do a lot of things at once. But me being a night shift, it has like not, I haven't had good work life balance because I sleep for like two days and I'm still so tired and I want to I only sleep enough to be rested for my next shift and it's like mm. so I'm gonna try day shift and see how that goes work-wise I know it's gonna be a lot on me mentally but hopefully it's a lot less than my body and like my sleeping schedule so I have City, Sapphire, Marriott for my husband and then Capital One, Best Buy I was updating my tracker 
this is how much I'm supposed to be paying weekly and monthly okay but as I was saying I'm gonna get an a tax refund usually it's around 10 grand but because now that I have um, investment accounts and that all, the, all of that nature um, I'm gonna get less than 10,000 but it's okay because some is better than none. When I filed last year, I didn't get any money back. I haven't done anything different. I think honestly, I have made amount, the same amount in six months that we did in the entire year because I wasn't working the last year because I was still in school. Um, but yeah, so I wasn't really trying to count it. The only thing that we were really waiting for is that I have Marcus, my long-term account. I think I only have like $1,900 there and uh i think i think so. so they should be already ready and hopefully all that goes well i don't know if i want to take money out of there to pay for my couch or if i actually want to do the savings challenge but we'll see i told my husband definitely i will put a thousand dollars in his bundle in his binder <laughs> in his envelope and I think I was gonna do like a little category for tattoos and stuff like that. And he can divide it, spend it, save it, however it is that he chooses to do. Uh, but yeah. I also started my February layout. Oh Lord. Okay. I have not filled up for my house payment because I don't know. Sometimes they raise the taxes or they adjust the things. The city does what the city needs to do, and then they send that information to the bank, the mortgage, and then the mortgage tells us uh, how much we need to pay every month. I don't know why this is backwards. I don't know, but <laughs> it's driving me crazy. So I just filled in the dates, most of the car payment, and I think this month instead of dividing it by four. Um, it's just the house payment is what I want to divide by two and then everything else I want to pay as it goes wait because yeah my husband starts another he's gonna be in the same company so he's gonna be in a different apartment so he's gonna be not only making more hours but I think he's gonna be making a bit more money um, so that'll be a bit more steady and I think he's gonna transfer on the 20th if I'm not mistaken because maybe in a daytime I'm gonna be making less money. I used to get paid three dollars a shift differential, like every hour three dollars and twenty five cents, on top of my best base pay. <clears throat> but um, I mean, it's, it was only for eight hours. Well, eight times three. Let's see. It's two hundred dollars. <throat> Pay per pay period is not really. It's four thousand dollars a year. It's not really something that I'm gonna complain and cry over about. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna get another raise here and there. We do get a lot of bonuses. We're gonna get a um, hand sanitizer bonus, and we are also gonna get like customer satisfaction bonus. So I don't think that we'll see how it goes like i said personal finance is personal and if i don't like one part of it i can also do another, like switch it up whenever i think i want to do hybrid as well like just i am hybrid at the moment to speak of because i don't like actually put cash in my this is the only ones that i don't put cash because interest is acquiring and i rather have it there for my stuffing accounts and my date my monthly bills that's a different story because uh because I mean, 4% is not compared, or like the 3% that we're getting with Ally is not compared to like the 20 something percent that I'm paying for the cards. I also still have the money from J from Capital One. Remember what I was supposed to pay my insurance? I still have that money here because uh, every time I try to go to the ATM, um, that it doesn't allow me to take money from Capital One. So that's, I'm going to do that one, those bills hybrid, which is my gym. I need to mark it now that I'm thinking about it. Looking at it. So typically it's my gym, $38. My, it says health insurance, but it's actually car insurance. And that's when I post $70 to fill my envelope. And is it my phone bill? Or is it my internet bill? 
I think it's my internet bill. No, it's $9.99. $9.95. But yeah, that's what I'm planning on doing on how I plan to pay off debt. Let me see. If it's in between these two heads. I need to find it, y'all. <laughs> I'm really upset that I cannot find the sheet. It should be in here. Anyhow, thank you. I have seen <laughs> that I have a whole lot okay so i'm so sorry a whole lot of new followers i went from 20 20 followers to 45 followers within one week and i was like shook it i still cannot believe it i am so grateful for you sharing i am so grateful for you um watching my videos i am so grateful for all the new people who are making their channels and adding me um if you want me to watch some content hours make a playlist and i'll be happy to play it i'm at work i, I might not comment but if you see i like <laughs> sometimes i don't I, it's not that i don't want to comment but sometimes it's the platform that i am on because i take my tablet to work at night um and I try to type it in comments and it doesn't let me post. And same thing sometimes with my phone. It's the app. It's the YouTube app. It's not that it's my my equipment. So if you watch, you see somebody watching your hours and you see a thumbs up, but no comment, more than likely that's coming from me. So if you need content, somebody to watch content, uh, somebody to add subscribers, let me know. I will shout you out in the near future. But <laughs> I just want to say I'm so thankful. I do notice. Um, so this Marriott one is for mine. That was eight thousand dollars. The sapphire it was nine thousand dollars, which I then <clears throat> this was as uh, it's saying that I'm gonna be debt free by November twenty twenty eight if I pay everything here. I want to pay off my home, which is a hundred thousand dollars, a thirty thousand dollars. My city card, which is ten grand, it's a lot less now. Not a lot less, but it's like at a nine thousand, almost eight thousand. Sapphire for my husband is eighty seven hundred. Marriott for my husband is it's up. Oh, that one's up now. It's twelve. I think I'm gonna make this one a priority because not only is it higher, it's also having a higher interest rate. Uh, also, I follow. I have this um, application. It's called Un Undead It. I'm gonna put it on the screen. That's how I keep track of different like methods. Like they have like the snowball method, the hybrid method, avalanche method. Uh, another method that they have it's um, if you have like almost a max out card but you're trying to work on your credit that's another method that they have and they com they compare like how much you're gonna how long you're gonna be paying how much interest rate the percent of interest that you end up paying and then <clears throat> how does this compare to the other ones and how is this from different from the other one and things of that nature <clears throat> it has been getting a lot of like Google ads since I first started it, but when I first started it, it was around 2018. Because um, that's when I was trying to get everything in order for me to go to the nursing school. That way we had we to be in this predicament. <laughs> but it's okay. Because now we have a handle. It's I'm coming from experience. And, you know, it's not that we're trying we're coming from failure either. It's that we had fun. Uh, and a lot of life happened since 2018 to now. <clears throat> okay, so Capital One has 6,000. Um, so car number one, like I said, car number two is not a priority. Car number one is mine, and I still, I have like 19,000. Here it says 20, but it's down to 19. And my store furniture is about 20 grand. I don't get like a monthly bill. Um, but I think I do get an email, so I'm going to be looking out for that one. Uh, this was a, a financial info that I would map, that I would store with this is from february 2018 so you can tell that i'm i was thinking and finding different ways on how to do things so this is like um your entire check that hits your bank account and then 70 percent of your income will go to like living expenses whatever it is for that month 20 percent of your income will go to pressing debt so like my credit cards will be my present pressing debt and then 10 percent of my income will go to buffer but if it is a option. Uh, I don't know what I'm trying to say. It is optional if you want to use that buffer to save up for emergency, save up to get one month ahead, or to put portion or all of it into your pressing debt. So for me, <clears throat> I would put in how much I would get paid every Thursday, whether it be for me, my husband, or both. 
and then <clears throat> so let's say that I get paid a thousand dollars and then 10% will be a hundred 20% will be 200 and then 70% will be 700 and then out of 700 those will cover my current expenses and here it doesn't matter as long as it's not this is anything that is not debt this is anything that's not savings and then you will find learn five ways to cut back even more like meal prepping meal planning packing your lunch i still do this to this day i do my my coffee at home and then um you take it from there and then you just work on it this is i think from uh, page page is her first name jordan page is her name and, and they have a lot of lovely kiddos i think i think her brand is just jordan page to be honest and she'll and like and she'll tell you how to cut back on costs, how to have like a back to school routine and things of that nature. Lately, I haven't been watching anything YouTube related other than cash stuffing. Okay, mi gente. Okay, mi gente. That's enough talking for me. <laughs> if you have any questions, any clarifications, any suggestions, just let me know while I finish tracking my spending and i edit this video thank you for everything please comment like subscribe and share and i cannot wait to see you <clears throat> later hasta la próxima goodbye